What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? Come on back to Teddy Bell. <laughs> I just automatically say that now when I uh, when I uh, start my videos. I don't even think about it. I hit back and it just comes out. Uh, no, I was watching uh, Vention One Mag Tau. talking to and it's kind of it's amazing to me how the social consciousness I mean our group think or, or whatever it is we just we have we do have a herd mentality because he's like echoing the same things that I'm talking about and or thinking about thinking about making a video so I just figured I'd uh respond to his video and share my thoughts with what he's talking about and uh you should go check his uh i'll put a link to the video that he's doing down down in the description so you can watch that but he's interesting it's an interesting channel uh he's got a lot of good insights and uh magtow buddy actually chris the guy i do the other uh the hangouts with a couple hangouts with who i'm introducing to bitcoin and litecoin he, uh, he, he, he informed me of what MegTow means because he's going through his struggles and he's like, I'm disgruntled and that's all I listen to is MegTow videos. But uh, men going their own way is what MegTow stands for. Uh, no, he was talking about the central banks printing out a billion dollars and uh, and uh, buying gold and you know precious metals with it and uh, you know how it's theft it's robbery I mean they're just printing money and buying precious metals and this is the reason why you know I went out of the system because the system can't go on like this forever you have uh Hillary Clinton blatantly breaking the law and uh, the FBI director comes out and says that uh, this is not uh, you know not an important issue and we're not going to pursue it but then you know a couple weeks later he comes out but this encryption stuff we have to take care of and uh, that is intolerable people wanting privacy because of terrorism you know Everybody has to give up their privacy, and we all have to be groped when we go to the airports. And uh, not that I go to airports, but, you know, it'll come to bus stops or, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't really take public transportation anyway. Uh, I get around enough being a truck driver. But uh, well, we have a lawless government. It is a lawless government, and it is an oppressive government in the United States. And, uh, and, he's, and he was talking about the uh, disintegration of society and the, and the uh, moral decline. And, uh, and he was talking about how he would, uh, you know, break the law when nobody's looking. You know, like if there's Thursday night nobody's around and you're in a little one horse town and there's a stop sign and you just kind of roll on through it because there's no real reason you know and he's saying that he used to be you know hey it's a stop sign you stop and uh and uh i feel your pain totally and that's and i and, and i'm the same way you know, I feel exactly the same way, but my head, my logic tells me it's kind of like uh, that counterintuitive thing when Bitcoin and Litecoin are going down, that's when you have to buy, and when it's going up, that's when you need to sell, or I, I don't really condone selling any of my Bitcoin or Litecoin, but, you know, that would be the time to sell is when it's going up and going, people are shouting to the moon, to the moon, but it's counterintuitive, and and it's kind of like when uh, everything is going to hell in a hand basket, you know, you throw up your hands and say, well, screw it, I'm going to hell too, you know, and uh, and that's kind of, and it, 
and it is that herd mentality that we have and it's just human nature we are herders okay I mean there's people behind me there's people in front of me there's people all around me but you go 10 feet over that way you know or 100 feet that way there's nobody but we're all right in a group we're all traveling together you can probably see the cars behind me we're like ants we are herding we are a herding people we are sheeple you can you can call yourself a lion and say you know roar I'm a big scary lion but really you're just a sheep I mean it's just human nature that's and you can deny it all you want but you're, we're sheep <coughs> uh, and that's not necessarily a bad thing there is protection in the herd you know you're you know we are pretty defenseless creatures on our own I mean uh, uh, who is the guy from uh, the Lakota Nation who just died? Russell Means. He talked about, you know, he's like we're we're weaker than a flower, you know, a little a little violet, you know, a little flower grows outside without any clothing, without any protection, without anything around it. It takes the the hail and the, and the storms and and. Uh, rain and the cold weather or whatever and it, and it grows with no protection at all we would die I guess they die too but it's kind of whatever you know but uh, no I'm just thinking out loud sorry but uh We are a herding mentality, and there is protection in the group. And when we are talking about the same things, somebody loves me, but uh, that was a text message for people who are new. I always say that whenever I get a text message when I get a call. But uh, there is protection in the group, and if we, you know, if we can recognize that we're hurt, we're herders and rally around a concept and herd around a concept like gold and silver like Bitcoin and Litecoin and I you know I would I challenge anybody to tell me that uh, Litecoin was is there's any major problem with it it is the number two cryptocurrency and I value that because everybody loves Ethereum right now but Ethereum was created poorly and everybody knows it and uh, if the Ethereum Classic rises up to take over Ethereum hard fork you know the thing is the founders of Ethereum still hold Ethereum Classic. You can't tell me they've all sold their their Ethereum. They got it all on on uh, you know cold storage or it's not being traded. But uh, so that's why I say Litecoin is is number two because I don't want you know basically. I mean I need to. For if this is your first time and you don't know what I'm talking about with Ethereum. Ethereum, basically about 70% uh, of the entire supply was released when Ethereum, before Ethereum was, was started being opened for mining. So everybody who invested, you know, pretty much owns that 70%. And basically we're... The people who are latecomers uh, are, are fighting over the 15, 15 million out of 90 million. So, to me, that's not cool. It's right for manipulation. I digress. But that's why I say Litecoin is the second one because there's major flaws in Ethereum with uh, with all the screwing up and all this kind of stuff. No, but my my challenge to you is is the count counter be counterintuitive when you see pe 
people failing around you. Make yourself more determined to succeed. When you uh, when you see people compromising their values, respond with more integrity. Try to be better than not necessarily be better than everybody else, but don't sacrifice who you are because of everybody else around you. And with our herd mentality, that is an extremely difficult thing to do. When everybody's going this way to go the wrong way down a one-way street. You know, we all are going to here, but, you know, I, you know, I don't, you know, I'm, I don't know if you're a Christian or not, and it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it does, but, but, uh, and it's not even about Christian, it's just basic morality is, uh, is there, you can change, you can stop and turn and go the other way, the Christian idea of repentance. And there is healing in that, just from an, a non-theistic uh, point of view. You, uh, if you know, if you are abusing drugs and alcohol, stop and start taking care of your yourself, you know, and start healing your mind and your body. And that's something about the world we live in is, you know, you get a cut and it heals, generally. And, uh, you know, what we have to stop doing as a herd, as a people, as a society, is stop doing what we're doing and turn and go the other way. And that is how our society is going to survive. And it takes a lot of testicular fortitude to stop in the middle of a one-way street and turn around and go the other way and be the only one. But you know what? When, what happens when you see a school of fish? That one fish turns, and then they all turn. So, there's always that one that's doing the opposite of what everybody else is doing. And, uh, and, uh, I think that's the answer. But, uh, no, check out Vention, Vention 1 Magtow. I'll put his, uh, link down in the description. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up, always, I appreciate a thumbs up, and, uh, if you share, that's cool too, and, uh, you know, stay strong, go the other way, turn around, repent, repent.